a Cuba Libre, libertad o muerte. It's a very bad one, personally. I don't feel a special hate for him, either for any other man. Batista is a vain and ambitious man who could not do what you call a democratic man to Hitler or to Mussolini. Well, Batista is like a, a stocked Hitler.
We have two years of fighting. At the beginning, we had not controlled country. We were continually persecuted, but fighting hardly against Batista's forces, after six months about, we got the control of the mountain and kept they out. Now, we have a, a big part of the plane too. Really, the only outlaw since the beginning was Batista. We have not been in isolation because we have continued contact with our people. Many newsmen have visited us since the beginning. Really, we have our feet, our feet on the ground. Would you seize lands of absentee owners, or would you expropriate foreign holdings? Almost anybody has been killed in these riots. Our men are too much uh, carefully with civilian people. In the other side, Batista men have killed thousands of innocent citizens. Our conscience are completely in peace because we give our lives for saving our people. Would you seize lands of absentee owners? Would you expropriate foreign holdings? You are mistake. You are mistake. Who had little success in defeating us was Batista. All just fight of a people for freedom always get victory. Soon or late, fat proved, have proved our faith. At the beginning, I only can tell you with how many men we began this fight. We were only 12 men. Now, we are too much more. The terrible for Batista is not how many men we have now, but that we grow every day. We were too small group, and Batista army was very strong. In spite of that, we continued to fight it, fighting, and we have got many victories against him and his forces are being defeating in all parts. You see, about the 90% of the people of Cuba we saw. Without that, it is uh, impossible at all to fight, fight uh, such a war like this. Not enough reason for hoping in the victory. How many men do you have? We are not fighting for power. We are fighting for finishing tyranny. And then our movement will fight power by free election. We don't want power by force. What penalties if you were caught? That is, I am leading a revolution because the legal government of my country was overthrown by the army led by Batista. Eighty-second days before a general election in which the people of Cuba was going to elect its own government. And instead of that, General Batista established a bloodly tyranny. For finishing that tyranny and for re-establishing a legal government in my country, we are fighting now. There is not communism or Marxism in our ideas. Our political philosophy 
is representative democracy and social justice in a well-planned economy. Lack of freedom and justice. And after that, a low standard of living, hundreds of thousands of young men without job. But uh, Cuba is a rich country with a wonderful future if we only have good governments. I don't think in being president. I am not fighting for that, not, nor for any other charge. I cannot answer, I cannot answer you about myself because I don't think about that. Our provisional government will be an honest judge, Dr. Manuel Urrutia, and after him, that that uh, president who ought to be elected for the people of Cuba in free election, uh, the most short time possible after the finishing the revolution. To improve my English, uh, to explain it to you better next time. From the U.S. or Canada. What we want is only the sympathies of the others, the public opinion of the United States, sympathies with Cuban fight for freedom. And we are very grateful to them. In the government of the state, on the contrary, some of its members believe that uh, strong men are good for their aims in Latin America. I think that is a mistake for the credit of the United States as a democratic nation. And we hope that the uh, social political will be changed. Except so far on well, English government without hearing the reason of the Cuban patriots sold 17 war airplanes to dictator Batista with which he will bomb our defenseless people as Hitler bombed London and Coventry in the summer of 1940. The relations between Canada and the people of Cuba will not be affected for that reason because Canadian government have nothing to do with that uh, airplane. We, the Cubans, want to be friends of the Canadians. What do you base your hopes to overthrow Batista? No, no, no. The, the, the question... We will not seize any land from anybody. What we will do is to buy those lands out of production to give them to poor countrymen. We don't think to establish a special measure for hold, uh, foreign holdings than for national ones. I cannot tell you exactly when. I only can tell you that he will uh, be overthrown and very soon. I hope to shake hands with you again in free Cuba, not too late that you become an old man.
que todo es conmigo. 